Hello friends, my name is Kishan. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a project where we will see how we can use setter based dependency injection use in a Spring Framework. So here is the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a uh, Java project. So right click over here, new Java project. So give the project name setter based DI. DI stands for dependency injection. Click on the next button. Finally click on the finish finish button. So here right click on this project. Go to the build path. Configure build path. Select libraries. Select add library. User library. And here I have already defined user library and there I have added all spring related libraries. So click on the finish. Click on the OK. So all spring related jars I have added in my class path. Now right click on the SRC, new, create an interface called com.infotech.message and interface name I would give message. Click on the finish. So this interface will have public API public abstract wide send message let's create one class in the same package which called active MQ message which is going to implement messaging interface so we don't require main method in this class here simply we are going to print a message sending message via active Now let's create another class package name com dot info take dot service and class name I would give communication. And this class is going to use private messaging. And here we need to create a certain method for this messaging. And this class has a public API, it's called public word. communicate from here you are making use of this stands variable I'm making a call to its method send message class is so simple now next let's create a XML file I give the XML file name beans.xml beans.xml so this is a blank XML file. We required a Java doc type. Sorry, XML doc type. So we can uh, so open this project, copy Java doc type from here, and paste it over here. Let's close this project. So here Java doc type. Sorry, mm -hmm. mistake partially I have copied XML top type copy properly paste it over here. What's going on? Okay. 
close this project now here we are going to configure our spring beans id equal to location class equal to qualified name of your this class this class has one instance variable right so and here we are going to learn how to inject uh, beans using creator based dependency injection so here property name equal to messaging and ref equal to messaging so messaging is the id of another bean so this way you will have to configure your as well so bean id equal to messaging and class equal to basically implementer of messaging interface class so this is your class so almost we are done with creation of xml file as well now right click on the src create a client program so com dot info take dot client this is a package name and give the client class name as client test and this will have main method here we are going to create abstract application context guys application abstract application context is a class which imp implements application context inter interface so this is one of the you can say application context container now new class path xml application context and here we are passing our configuration file name means dot xml now here Text dot get bin. There are a lot of get bin method overloaded methods, so I'm using this one which takes first as the your bin ID name. So our bin ID is this is our target bin. So ID is and here you need to pass class name. dot class this will return you okay. now we can make the call to this method so method is the communicate method and finally you can close abstract application context okay so we are done with our client program as well so right click and run now we are successfully getting sending message via active mq so guys so here we have seen how to implement setter based dependency injections in this class we have one instance variable which is a type of one interface so and correspond we have created corresponding setter methods here we have a special property name equal to messaging and ref equal to messaging and messaging this is the id of another bin where you have specify the implementer of implementer of this interface so a spring automatically will find the implementer of this interface type and that will inject at runtime so this way we can implement setter based dependency injections so that's i have in this video tutorial so uh, see you in next video tutorial thank you guys